The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Hotel complex Lopata Spa Resort is expanding. According to the current plan, new infrastructure will be added to the territory of the complex by 2024. It's planned to open an additional hotel building, bowling, billiards, jazz club, brewery, restaurant and water park. According to the financial report 2022, construction process is actively underway. The document reads that in 2022, 46% of hotels guests via Georgian and 54% via foreigners, 28% of foreigners via visitors from Saudi Arabia, 5% accounted for Russia, while 4.5% via guests from Israel. In total, the complex hosted 86,000 guests in 2022. The average annual occupancy of the hotel room stood at 53%. As for the financial rates, last year the consolidated income of the hotel complex increased by 7.1 million lari and exceeded 32.2 million lari. LLC Lopota Investment is 100% shareholder of the complex. SRG Real Estate holder of Radisson Hotels published a financial report for half one 2023. According to the document, the income of the group amounted to 115 million lari, while the figure stood at 112 million lari in the same period of the previous year. The financial report reads that about 61% of the total revenues accounted for the gambling business, while 34% hotels and 5% is other income. The group owns and manages Radisson Blue Brand Hotels in Tbilisi and Batumi, Radisson Collection and Park Hotel Tsinandali, as well as casinos in Tbilisi and Batumi and the Complex Republic. The group has recently started renovating the former Telegraph building in Tbilisi in order to turn it into a five-star hotel, which will be managed by Silk Hospitality. Entree Bakery chain is expanding in London and has launched chain's fourth bakery on Kensington Street. According to Lika Mikauta, the head of marketing department, Entree invested 300,000 Great British Pound in the expand. A new branch in London on Kensington will open late in October or early in November. We will employ eight people. The investment amounts to 100,000 great British pounds. Our focus is unchanged. We unite Georgian and European culinary cultures, noted Delika Mikautadze. According to the head of the company's marketing, Andre will open its 15th facility on Ksanisi Street this year. Andre continues to expand its chain in 2024 as well and plans to open two facilities in London. Andre currently operates in three countries, which 14 stores are located in Tbilisi, seven in Baku and three in London. Hotel Posto Mestia, located in Swanetti, declares that the hotel worked with 80% load in July-August, but the rest of the month failed. As Guanza Pagliani, administrator of Posto Mestia, told BMDG, their guests included both local and foreign tourists from England, Israel and Germany. According to her, Russian tourist share was relatively low. Pagliani declares that the main challenge for attracting tourists to Mestia is still damaged roads as for other communications. There was uninterrupted electricity and water supplies throughout the summer. According to her, the accommodation prices in post Mestia did not increase compared to the previous summer and average cost of a double room stood at 350 lari. Sazano Swine will open a hotel in the village of Sazano in cooperation with Bank of Georgia. The total cost of the project amounts to 6 million lari, of which Bank of Georgia's investment totals to 2.5 million lari. The current project involves construction of a 31-room hotel on the land area of 5 hectares. After the opening, the hotel plans to employ 30 people. Hotel Sazano Swine combines different types of rooms, several restaurants, recreation and children's entertainment spaces. As Part of the project Old Houses were rehabilitated. The hotel is the first in the municipality that will receive both local vacationers and foreign visitors and entertain them with American cuisine. The hotel business is one of the priority sector for Bank of Georgia. That's why the bank has been supporting the development of the mansion sector for many years. And with our support, many projects have been implemented both in Tbilisi and the regions. We are happy to cooperate with Sazano Swine and we are proud to be supporters of this important project, said Valery Narcia, Deputy Director of Corporate Customer Service Department of the Bank of Georgia. 
A new raspberry snack appeared on the Georgian market with the cooperation of berry producing farms Agrostone, Siamo and P&K Berries. Director of Agrostore Zurab Alawitsa talks about the new project with BMW-G. Our product is uh, healthy, we dry the product at a low temperature, we expel the active water we, which allows us to use the obtained product for one year both as a snack as well as in cooking and confectionery, says Zurab Alawite. According to the co-founder of Siamo, raw materials for the snack come from the berry plantations of two companies where Swiss and Italian varieties of raspberry are grown. As for the exports, the company has already begun to exploit the U.S. market. According to Zurab Alawite, the samples has already been sent to several countries. The snack appeared on the Georgian market only a few weeks ago. As for the selling price in the local market, according to the Agrostore director, the price of the kilogram will be within 260 lari, although the product will be sold in 100 or 200 gram packaging. A hotel complex with a different concept, Kwarebi, was opened in Shalauri village, Kakheti region last week. The total complex includes 20 Kwarebi-shaped rooms as well as the main hotel building where 70 rooms are located. The hotel can accommodate about 75 guests at the same time. The co-founder of the hotel, Georgi Kudiashvili, declares that they have invested about 10 million lari in the project, including both personal investment as well as bank loan. According to Kudiashvili, they also cooperate with Enterprise Georgia and EBRD. This time, the tourist facility combines a restaurant, a bar, a conference space, an open pool and lounge. The four partners started the construction of Kwebrebi back in 2019. However, the pandemic and the war in Ukraine prevented this time completion. Nestle increased its income and profit in Georgia. Nestle Georgia, a subsidiary of French company, ended 2022 with a 28% increase in total sales. The company's assets were 93.2 million lari. Net assets increased by 33.1% amounting to 71.1 million lari. The company's management report revealed that the major growth accounted for the confectionery, pet care and baby food. In 2022, the company received a profit of 12.203 million lari and significantly improved its operational results compared to the previous period. Nestle is the world's largest food and beverage company with more than 2,000 brands ranging from global icons to local favorites and are present in 190 countries worldwide. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.